in the glass. It's so cool, so hip, it's a right. It's so groovy, it's out of sight. You can touch it, smell it, taste it so sweet. But it makes no difference, cause it knocks you off your feet. Good evening, Fight Fans. This is Chris Guzman with your weekly Thursday night injection of boxing talk. Updates and all out arguments. This is your Bolo Punch Boxing Hour, brought to you by George Rogie Insurance. It is Thursday night, February the 26th, 2009. We are live from Leg Up Production Studios, Hobart, Indiana, just about half an hour over the border from uh, Chicago, Illinois. Emil Slotopopinski, Kekabon here on my right. Mo, what is going on with you? Not much, man. I get to watch a lot of fights this weekend from home. Uh, Jimmy's event I ended up not being able to make it out to because we had a, a, a bug going through our household, so I couldn't make it. And uh, you guys kind of filled in for me. Timmy took some pictures out there. I'm I'm uh, working on getting them up on the website now. So uh, I don't know. Uh, other than that, I got to watch a bunch of fights on TV huh. this weekend. Lord knows there were enough fights this week. Uh, talk a second about that that Jimmy Holmes event at the DeMott Boxing Club, DeMott, Indiana, on Route 10. Um, well, I'm, I'm about to introduce Timmy Patterson here in just a second. Well, let, let me wait. Let me let me uh, let, let me introduce uh, Nestor, and uh, and then we'll talk a little bit more about that event with Tim when I when I bring him on in. Nestor Garza Romero, what's going on with you? I haven't seen you in a while. No, yeah, I, uh, well, we had uh, dinner last Sunday night, but other than that, um, actually, it's uh, been a good week. Um, unfortunately, we lost one of our workers, one of our co-workers. He uh, fell victim to the uh, cutbacks. So it's that never was a shame. good news. Yeah, never it's good never, news. never good news. Well, it was never good news for him, unfortunately. It's better news for me because that just means more business my way. But yeah, that's kind of surprising. In the car business, I figured it'd kind of be a lot based on sales, though. Uh, if you would leave if you just couldn't make the sales. Well, it, 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 we're talking about a finance person, so it's a whole different oh. issue at that point. Oh, okay, yeah, we're I understand. We're just talking management at this, at, at this point. Yeah, other than that, everything's great. I just spent an hour in a nice, hot grade school gymnasium <laughs> with a bunch of other wet, hot people watching the first grade class my grandson's first grade class uh go through their program so that was pretty cool but it was a little bit warm but it was nice we had a good time very nice well Bye. you and timmy spent the weekend in the gym so <laughs> yeah we did well we, we were definitely in a gym on saturday how's timmy, your week on timmy the producer patterson what's going on man not a whole lot man uh what'd you think of that show now i mean we go to pro shows all the time but to see an amateur show, I, uh, I mean, mostly children, not all children, but headgear, really big gloves, small little club. It was a good time. Well, it was a great time, but the funny thing was we were going to call blow by blow, and after the bell rang and they just started throwing punches like crazy, it's like, how the heck do you, I mean, it's like, you would just have to like a fury of punches, which you'd have to <laughs> call it. Left to right, left to right, left to yeah, right. Yeah, it it's just insane the amount of punches that are thrown, so... Um, Blow by blow, it didn't happen, but we were able to get some great <laughs> pictures of it, and uh, it was a good time. Thanks, Jimmy Holmes. Jimmy Holmes put on a hell of a show. And oh, I, hear, I hear they had a, a, a first-time uh, ring announcer as well. Oh, and yeah. The... I tell you right now, that whether I was good, whether I was bad, I had a hell of a time. I think, I don't know, I think in a former life I actually – Chris I Michael actually, Buffer well, Guzman. Um uh, <laughs> I don't know about that, but what was I, the catch line? I had a good time. I didn't have a catch line. I just wanted to get the job done. I wasn't there trying to show that I need to be doing this for a living. <laughs> I just went there and he asked me to, and I, I thought it'd be fun, and it definitely was fun. And we have a new painting hanging up behind us. We uh, do have a new a new piece uh, right behind me, uh, Layman Brewster, um, the night that he became heavyweight champion of the world by uh, uh, by knocking out a uh, big Vladimir Klitschko. He was. Uh, Klitschko started the evening out as the WBO heavyweight champion and left as the former WBO heavyweight champion. Um, and the big news on this one is uh, all your other paintings are up for sale except for this one. It's basically... This one is not for sale. This one has already been promised to uh, Lehman himself. Um, uh, I, I dare say a friend of ours. But, I mean, <laughs> no more so than any other boxer is a friend of the, of the Bullet Punch boxing. Because <laughs> I, I don't want to pretend like we're out, we're out shopping and, and you know going to Cinnabon together, but... Yeah, we, uh, I, but uh, no, I'm I'm glad to say that I, that I've been able to see him fight uh, live twice. Uh, me and Tim hung out with him a couple times at the Hall of Fame. Um, and uh, and this uh, this was based on this painting behind us was based on a photograph that he actually gave you. Based on a f 
No, it was not based on a photo that he gave me. Um, the photo that he sent me was actually uh, of him knocking out Galata in the first round. Oh, okay. Sort of a Muhammad Ali standing, you know. Oh, okay. And uh, I don't know. That, that photo just didn't talk to me the way this photo did. I mean, just a lot more action going on in this one. Um, and if he wants to... Uh, if you want to talk about doing another one, a lot of one, I am more than happy to oblige. Timmy, the producer, Patterson, how can our listeners get in touch with us tonight? Hit us up on the hotline, 219-743-9743. Yahoo Instant Messenger is up and running. Um, we got a little technical difficulties over here trying to get through. Uh, Yahoo Instant Messenger is up and running, keyword Bolo Punch Boxing Hour. And uh, the best way to reach us is in the chat room via Ustream.tv. You okay, Timmy? Sure, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, contender was last night, and anytime you have a f- uh, contender finale on a Wednesday, it plays right into uh, Bullet Punch Thursday night, which we're very used to. Um, I have to admit, I was not as big a fan of the cruiserweights as I thought I would be. Not as many characters as I'm used to with the middles and yeah. the welters that, that that we dealt with uh, in years past. Um, Nestor was always a huge fan of the contender and, and didn't really get on board this year either. No, so not at all. It, it, I don't know what it was. I, I Something was missing well, for me. I think a big a big thing of it was the channel change. I mean, you went from one from ESPN2 to, to Versus, and, and nobody really advertised it. First of all, Versus in a, in a big, I don't know, maybe it is a big, big it's sport. It's getting there. Yeah, it's getting it's on its way. But uh, not as big as ESPN, obviously. And, you know, when you watch ESPN in the morning or ESPN in the afternoon, you get all the commercials for Contender, but you didn't see anything. So I, I really didn't get on board. I enjoyed it last year, but... You were always the one telling me. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I enjoyed the Contender. I really did, but the Cruiserweights just didn't do a whole lot for me. I, I, I They did. I, what surprised me is there weren't as many knockouts in Cruiserweights as what I expected. Uh, but the guy that won it was the guy that was basically the king of the knockouts during the show in, in Ross. Uh Troy Ross had knocked out, I believe, uh, three guys during the show. The only guy that that made it through through one of his fights without getting knocked out was the guy that ended up in fourth place on on the show uh, that he fought in the semifinals. Was AK forty seven is his nickname. Well, I'll tell you right now, he um, yeah, AK Akinyemi Lale. Yeah, I wasn't gonna try that. AK forty seven. AK. I wasn't gonna try that. <laughs> Yeah, and then he yeah he ended up being fourth because he ended up losing his fight last night yeah, uh, to and, Hoy to yeah, Nico Hoy. Yeah, he won the first round. The big, and a, a big thing of it was the channel the change. Fight. I mean, you went from one from ESPN two to to on. Versus, and, and nobody really advertised it. First fourth of all, Versus in, in the big. I mean, we'll talk about it more in past fights, big, and big, I don't even know what, how we're doing on time right now. Jimmy, we doing all right on time? Yeah, we're doing fine. Okay, um, two minutes. But uh, Ross ended up knocking out his man. Uh, what round was it? The you know. It, it, I believe it was fourth round. Fourth round. Was fourth round. When he uh, caught, you know, absolutely turned around and, and cowered in the corner. He actually kind of looked like he was smiling as he was getting hit. He he definitely got hit very hard. Well, that's the thing with uh, that's the thing with Rossi. He's got he's got power in both hands and showed it. Yeah. He has two twin sledgehammers, and it was outstanding to watch him. Um, like I said, we'll talk about it a little bit more. we have got a lot of stories I want to get through, but uh, yeah, Troy Ross, you are the contender champion. If I had a hat on, I would take it off for you. Uh, Arthur Abraham is flat out saying, no more running, Kelly Pavlik. It's time we unify. We said this over a year ago. Yeah. But so did he. (laughs) But so did he. So, uh, yeah, Arthur Abraham has said, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of there being multiple middleweight champions. He he actually went, uh, not on on this particular uh, press release, but he said on another one earlier in the week, um, the middleweight championship used to mean much more than it does now. Yeah, it was middleweight and it was heavyweight. Those were the two that that mattered the most. Well, and and if you don't get the two best middleweights in the world in the ring together, then then he goes he goes maybe I'll move up to super middleweight. Mr. Abraham, there was a lot of belts that meant more, that used to mean more than they do now. Back in the day, <laughs> heavyweight mattered, and middleweight. Mattered. Right, right. And, and Pavlik, Pavlik is and still Welter, there. Welter and Light mattered oh, as yeah. well. I'm not gonna put those down, but. But you Pavlik knew is still the middleweight champion. Well, Pavlik, everybody recognizes Pavlik as the middleweight cha- middleweight champ, and yeah. he's still one of the most popular fighters in boxing. And uh, I'm interested to see what the split goes here, and I'm I'm very happy that they're working on seeing this fight. Well, we're going to see uh, Arthur Abraham against Pavlik. We're going to have to go ahead and take our first break of the night. We've got a couple things to take care of. We'll be right back with them. All the fights that got us through the week and all the fights that are going to be getting us through next week. Right here on Bolo Punch Boxing Hour. 